Hey Python folks, you might have seen my recent video where I sorted 1 billion items using one processor and I compared the MacBook Air M1, which is this one right here, versus an Intel MacBook Pro, which I have back there. Now I'm doing the Ryzen 9 machine. Quick look at the code just to show you what we're doing. I'm using numpy, numpy, and I'm timing it. So I'm generating 1 billion random numbers. There it is. Storing it in a data array and I'm using the timer to get the start time and then the finish time after the sort is done. I'm using the stable kind of sort. It's a pretty fast one. And then at the end, I'm going to print out how long it took. Simple. Now, there's two ways to run Python on the MacBook Air M1 or any M1 processor, any Apple Silicon processor. One way is to use an environment that executes as an Intel based process. So an x86 or a 64 bit process under Intel kind of architecture. The other way is to use native Apple architecture. And that's what I'm doing here. So I'm going to run this under Apple to get the best possible performance. So I'm going to run Python and pass in that program. And that's all I need to do. Now here in Windows on the Ryzen 9 machine, I'm going to do the same thing. Now on both of these, I installed a conda environment so I can manage my environments. And I did the same thing on Windows. So that's what I'm going to do here as well. I'm going to select this anaconda prompt and I'm going to run Python passing in that program. We're going to do this at the same time to see who's going to finish first just for fun. I know they're going to print out the results at the end. Anyway, let's go. Now you'll see the differences on the one that's running on the MacBook Pro. I did actually add comments to print out start and finished. I didn't do that here. But other than that, the program is exactly the same. Just to show you that this is executing under an Apple process. Here it is under activity monitor on the MacBook Air. And we have that CPU. It's a one process operation taking up almost an entire single CPU running under Apple. There we go. Now let's take a look at the task manager on Windows just to show you what's going on here on the window side. And we have only 12% for some reason of the CPU being utilized. Not sure why, but there is is a heck of a lot of memory being utilized uh, for 0.3 gigabytes and it keeps growing. Let's see how much memory the Apple one is using. So yeah, Python 3 is using quite a lot of memory here as well. Hey, a billion numbers is a lot of integers to store in memory. So let's see who's going to win out of these two machines. I need my little song for running Python code. Python, Python, the waiting on a code we're running. Python. Okay, folks, I'm a little surprised here, but we have a winner and it's the Ryzen 9 machine, even in Windows, it's still beating the MacBook Air M1. So the execution here took 139 seconds to run to sort 1 billion items. Now I know that they didn't have the same set of numbers. Some of you might comment saying, Oh, well, you should be using the same set of numbers. So I am going to run this a couple times. I'm not going to bore you with the details of that. I'll just skip that and report at the end how long this takes. But yeah, for now, it looks like it's winning and winning by quite a bit. I'm still waiting for this one to finish. There it is 191 seconds on the Apple M1. Let's run that again. I just want to make sure that that wasn't a fluke. And they're off. Hmm. This is pretty boring. Maybe I should watch a YouTube video. It's only two minutes, but it just feels so long. Okay, we're done. We're done on the Ryzen machine again. This time, even nine seconds faster. 130 seconds this time. Let's kick it off just one more time for the fun of it. That way I can report an average. And it is faster on the Apple as well by 10 seconds, 181. So still not quite as fast as the Ryzen 9 machine. Let's do one more. What can I do in three minutes? One good clean jokes that'll make you laugh your pants off. Yeah, still not done yet. Let's see if I can find one here. There's a fine line between a numerator and a denominator. I guess only a fraction of people will get this clean joke. What do dentists call their x-rays? Toothpicks. All right, that's enough. 132 seconds on the Ryzen 9. So we've got a pretty consistent number now. We're bouncing around that 130 range. And let's fast forward to when this machine will be done. Boom, 182 seconds. So also about the same. We came up a little bit from last time, but we are getting pretty consistent numbers now. There you go, folks. The Ryzen wins. But wait, did I hear you asking about executing this on Linux? I, I can I, I can just hear you saying that in the comments down below. You, you were typing it, weren't you? You were just typing it. Wow, Windows is not a real environment. Nobody uses Windows. Of course we use Windows. Everybody uses Windows. That's why Microsoft has uh, so many Windows. Nobody uses Windows. Use Linux. Linux is the real operating system. It's the only true operating system. Anyway, 
Whatever you believe is fine. Let's try this on Linux and see if it's actually faster on Linux. So we got our Windows numbers. We know it beats the M1 now. Let's let's do one more test on Linux. This one's for you, all those skeptics. So here's Linux machine. I got Ubuntu installed on this same machine. It's the Ryzen 9 Rogue Strix by Asus. And I have this in a dual boot configuration. So I boot it into Ubuntu completely separately. I have the same exact code base with the same version of Python. Let's run this Python pie sort and just out of curiosity, I want to see if this is going to be faster or not. And by the way, um, there is the Linux subsystem for Windows, which you can run inside Windows. So I do have that installed as well. I didn't run it in this case. But if you are curious to see the differences between the Linux subsystem for Windows and just Ubuntu, let me know in the comments down below. And what do you think is going to be faster? I also have a multi core test that I ran comparing the M1 to the Intel MacBook Pro. So check out that video if you haven't seen it already. But uh, I haven't tested the Ryzen machine with the multi core test yet. And if you're interested in that, let me know in the comments too. Whoa. Okay, uh, my apologies to all the Linux folks. You were right. It is faster on Linux 122 seconds, which is our fastest time so far. Now I am going to run it a couple more times just to make sure but so far it's looking pretty promising that running this on Ubuntu is faster. I'm just kind of blown away. That's that's crazy. It's not a huge jump from Windows OS to Ubuntu, but it is pretty significant. And if we were running, let's say a bigger program, this could add up. All right, folks, I ran this two more times and the results are clear. It's pretty consistent. 122 seconds and 121.8. So we are getting those consistent results from the Ubuntu machine. I think we've got enough to summarize this little session. I'll throw it up on the screen right now. Our M1 didn't do so well this time. Usually it uh, I have some more faith in it and it usually wins some of these tests that I have thrown at it. But in this case, the Ryzen 9 takes it in Windows. And furthermore, Ubuntu actually beats Windows by a little bit. So Ubuntu with Ryzen 9 actually beats all these very nice. If you didn't see my video comparing the M1 to the Intel MacBook Pro that I got back there, check it out right here. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.